Hey guys, I'm outside repotting my golden pothos. It's growing real weird. Um, I'm gonna check on the roots and everything. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's just not doing the best. Um, it dries really fast, so it obviously needs more soil in there. Uh, you can see all its roots sticking out. I just need to repot it. There's also a plastic thing underneath that needs to come out because it's holding a lot of water in there and I'm not sure what it looks like. Um, I also took off the cash po bottom piece of this. I don't like using them because it, again, it holds a lot of water. So I'm going to put it in a bigger pot. I'm going to take these off. Sorry for the traffic noises if you can hear that. I thought it would be pretty dead today. I'm actually just gonna dump this in here and then toss it. All right. So I've had this for probably a little over a year. Um, and it's just been in the same pot that I bought them in. Hang on, I think I got them at a grocery store. Under $10 again. Try not to go over $10 with most plants that I have. All right. Oh, those roots are, look okay, look pretty good. So let me show you what the plastic thing is doing. It's bowed in right here and the roots have grown around it. It's plastic. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get that off without breaking anything. Um, so the roots, oh, they're growing through the little drainage piece. If you lose one, that's fine. Come in. There we go. All right, lost a few roots. That's okay. So the roots are going in circles like that. It's gonna eventually strangle. Thank you, motorcycle. Eventually strangle the plant because um, roots will just keep wrapping themselves up. So I'm gonna take off as much soil as I can, especially on the top. These come from a bunch of clippings stuck in the pot and then grow from there. I don't think anything's growing from this. So this has no leaves. Where am I? Here it is. Oh, can you see that? <laughs> I don't know, it's working. But it has a root, so I don't know. I'll stick it back in there and see what happens. Um, okay, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Come on out. If anything, I'm just going to top dress it with some new soil, whatever's still on here. All right. Just open up the bottom, you know, scratch at it, get all that soil and roots loose so they have somewhere to go. Try to break up the bottom where they're twisting together. If they're really bad twisted, you can break them off, you can clip them, just to make sure they don't strangle themselves. So, you know, in the wild, they have everywhere to go, but in a pot, they do not. All right, so I'm gonna dump this. I'm just gonna fill up my tea pot with some fresh soil, just a little bit at the bottom. It's a wider pot, so I'm hoping just to stick more cuttings in with this. Woo! Alright, this should be good. So I've got some soil in there. Make a little divot for its roots. Bad boy out. Yeah, come on. Lots of leaves out of there. It'll be like that. Oh, there's like a half dead leaf. You see that? <laughs> it's 
still a baby, so I'll just wait for it to get crunchy and pull it off. That's my favorite about these plants. If a leaf dies, you just wait for them to get crunchy in there. Super easy. You could literally just shake the plant and all the dead leaves will fall off that are ready to come out. Okay, so without wishing any of its new growth, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys what I'm doing. Let's see. Soil. bunch of space here. I'm just gonna plot some soil in it. Get your little arm out of the way. And fill it in. And another one. This might take the longest. Just listen to the ambiance of a the road behind me. A crinkling of my soil bag. Move its arms out of the way. It's shifting. Okay. in the pot. I'm just trying to escape. Down in there. Okay. Maybe one more on this side. Where all of its legs are. Out of the way, ladies. Scoop, scoop. So I'm repotting this because it wasn't doing too good. It was growing out of the pod. It was pushing itself out with all its roots. So I'm just gonna add some soil to the top without getting it on top of the leaves. Just to cover up the roots that were sticking out. All right, give it a little. We'll get everything to settle. All right. You can just repropagate it. Come on, you have a whole new growth right there, and I don't want to snap it off. Come on. All right. Go back where you're supposed to be. All right. Very untangled that mess. Here it is in its new pot, the hanging pot. So I'm just going to attach this. Um, some cool parts right here. So this vine, I don't know if you can really see this, is curling back in. I'm going to use a hairpin and pin it down. Let's see, pin it down right here so it'll grow more. It'll be another root to add new, uh, to get nutrients to the plant. And I'll do that with a couple of these that are twisting back in, and then I will add my propagated ones that I'm currently propagating. I'm going to wait for them to get a little bit more roots, but eventually we'll stick them in this pot. So it's an ever growing pot. And this also helps um, show where anything is dead. Um, I was surprised to not find a lot of dead. Maybe this. Probably just going to toss that. Um, it has a really nice root on it, but it's not growing anything. It's actually molding. So we're just going to toss that. Um, I didn't see any more. There's a few, you know, little dead things here and there. But, you know, I thought it was going to find more dead parts of this. It seems like it's doing good. Maybe it was just, you know, growing out of its pot. So I'm going to give it a good water. I'm going to wait, you know, for him to settle into the pot. Um, probably two weeks two, three weeks, depending on how well he's doing. Um, if he does great, I will fertilize him with my fish fertilizer. 
and we'll see if he, you know, bounces back from his very holy dilemma. <laughs> Alrighty, thanks for watching. Bye.